But there's one animal with a crucial job to do. Now, before the winter sets in. It's a job the entire forest depends upon. The best time to see them is in the first couple of hours after dark. And what I'm hoping is that if I stand here and stay really quiet, I'll be in for a real treat. It's a creature I've waited all my life to see, but they move so fast. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> that was amazing, it went right past my face. Flying squirrel. They really are expert gliders. They can glide for up to 200 metres. When I was a kid, I was obsessed with things that were, you know, not meant to fly. Flying fish, flying frogs, flying lizards, flying squirrels. And this is the first time I've ever seen them. It was worth a 45-year wait, honestly. Did you see that? I felt it. It went right through my hair. Seriously. Centre parting. It was like having a sheet of A4 coming right at my face, and as soon as they hit the tree, they're running and up they go. They're just crisscrossing all of the trees, and they immediately scamper up to the top and then take off and glide again. And sometimes, I've noticed, they can even change direction during flight. me in the chest. It doesn't come better than that, does it? It doesn't get more exciting. But what on earth have they got to do with our story? Well, at the moment, these flying squirrels are out and about in the woods trying to find as much food as possible before the weather turns nasty and the winter kicks in. But what are they after? Well, they're after these truffles. They're the fruiting bodies of fungi and they appear in the damp cool of autumn. In preparation for winter, the hungry squirrel needs to hoard food such as truffles. But the truffles also need the squirrel to eat them. As the squirrel moves through the forest, the spores are dispersed. <laughs> 